trying for the trees. Good fish. What's up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of fishing this year. There's gonna be a lot of videos, a lot of trips. So uh, stay tuned for that. I am here again at Lake Kachuma. I got here earlier today and uh, it looks about the same actually. Actually a little less crowded than it was the other day. But anyway, I'm gonna rent a boat and I'll get on the water and uh, I'll see you in a second. Oh my God, that's like the littlest bass in the world. Wrapped up. fish on. Dang. Good fish too. See that tree? Good fish. I just saw him flash. It's wrapped around that tree. Ah, come on. Got him, oh my God, it's not that big. Boy, was he stuck. He's floating too. <sighs> well, I'm glad I got you, buddy. That was a rough situation you were in. All right, that was really intense and dramatic. Um, I'm just glad I got that fish out of there. It wasn't that big at all. Um, but he wrapped me around this log pretty good and I saw him on his side down there and I couldn't get him and I was afraid I was gonna have to just break off and you know it sucks because if he's wrapped up and he can't get out I mean it's light line so you would think but if he's tired and he can't get out of there I would hate to see that fish die I hate to see any of the fish die so uh, I'm happy that I got him out of there uh, and he swam off okay so whew, intense Nice fish. All right. Chunky little monkey. So I just dropped it right down there by that tree. All right, that was awesome. I just dropped it right next to the boat, the Senko. This beautiful fish. Cool. Spawn in there. All right, thanks, guy. That was awesome. Whew, she was ready. Little guy. Better fish, better fish. Not bad. Nice little dude. Here's a quick tip. It may sound obvious, but a lot of people don't do this uh, or they forget. But anytime you get snagged on anything or wrapped up or feel any tension at all, you have no idea if it's a branch or rock or whatever, check your line, make sure it's not frayed. I've lost a couple good fish by just being lazy or you know it's late in the day and you're just kind of tired so you don't feel like tying on. And because of one little fray, because I got snagged, I lost a good fish. Uh, I've lost a couple good fish that way. So always remember, if you get wrapped up or hung up on anything, check the line, make sure it's not frayed and retie. It'll save you some fish, trust me. Quick release.
Oh, it got me stuck. I missed that one. It took off with it. I just cast it, and I think I was picking up my other rod, and I looked up, and the line just took off, and it got me wrapped up. There's nothing down there, so it might have just wrapped me around the rock, and I think he got off, but I saw like two or three good-sized fish down there. I watched him eat off that tree. Good fish. He's trying for the trees. Good fish. Nice. Good fish. Not a bad fish. Best one I've got so far. Either big, large mouth, or a mediocre small mouth. Not bad. It's not a bad one, though. Chunky. Not a bad fish at all. Get the males down. guys I'm finally into some good fish look at this probably not quite three but man that is beautiful <sighs> chunky little guy You know, unless I can find a decent cove where the wind is not blowing right into it. I don't know if you can see that behind me. I may have to call it an early day. It is really, really windy out there. And as you know, when you're Senko fishing, the wind is your enemy. Another good fish. Saved you, buddy. Another nice fish, chunky guy. Chunky bed fish. because I saw him. Not the average size I've been catching. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to fight you like you're a 10-pounder. Oh, good fish. First one I missed today. Top of it. Got him. 
take it. That was a nice fish. All right, that is a wrap, everyone. Uh, that is Kachuma. That's my second trip here. Fantastic. Uh, much better than last time, actually. I found uh, some decent fish, decent pattern. The pattern is kind of easy in the springtime. It is Sanko season. That's pretty much all I throw. I did throw the frog a little bit, but it was just hot, and I just didn't, uh, didn't have a good feeling about it. So I threw the Sanko and the fat worm all over the place. Wacky rig. Um, the, the lake is, uh, there's some shallow places that are decent, uh, lots of mud bottom that were with big trees. And that's where I'd kind of focus on the trees. And, and there's just some spots where every big tree had a bass on it. It was fantastic. I sight fished a lot. There was a lot of fish on beds, caught a few off of the beds. Uh, finally saw some really big fish here. You know, the six pound and up range, which is what I'm looking for always, of course. Uh, Got to get that PB, which would be uh, over six. Uh, so anyway, fantastic. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. The water seems like it's kind of clearing up. The algae's going away. Uh, that wind just whooped my butt. Just the last couple hours of the day were just miserable because of that wind. So I'm kind of, you know, calling it an early day. That's why you got to get there early. Um, and uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I am almost at a thousand subscribers. I got like 10 left. Help me out, people. Share this stuff if you like fishing and that sort of content. All right, thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.